my contribution this year has been to attempt to keep track of the uh, days and nights of the universal underworld, and that, that's basically from March 2011 through October 28, 2011. And I've been spending tremendous amounts of time concentrating on the days and nights of previous underworlds and the kind of information that they give us about the current moment. That, that's just what I do on my on Astro Flash, where I give astrological counseling. Basically, as you know, what I'm doing is I'm working with the days and the nights of the universal in relationship to the astrological transits. And so what I've been doing is I've been spending a tremendous amount of time attempting to identify what the really big key changes are. So since you've been you've been following Astroflash, right? Yes. Because yes, you notice that on the yeah the first day of the universal the the event that I thought was so significant was the earthquake and tsunami in Japan, and then the ensuing um, nuclear crisis that as a result of it, and of course most people are not aware of how serious this crisis still is at this point we're having a meltdown on this planet at this time, and the media is of course paying no attention to it whatsoever. So what I did there was I nailed one of the key issues that would build and develop all the way through the universal underworld. And so another one has come up during day four and night four, which is where we are right now, which is of extreme importance. And I, I'd like to identify it on this show just so that more people can become more conscious of what's going on here. The fall of Rupert Murdoch is a really big deal. Oh, and it is. the fall of Rupert Murdoch really represents an, a visible corporate level. It's a drama at the corporate global level where we can actually see, we can watch the fall of evil. Rupert Murdoch is more responsible than probably any human being on this planet for the degeneration of sexual attitudes and the degeneration of the respect for family and for women and children and all the kind of values that are so important in the third dimension. And so you have to realize that as something like Rupert Murdoch falls and things start to transmute on that level, this also is asking us to purify and clarify. We have been assaulted during this whole lifetime by the most horrific levels of ugly smut and pornographic realities, and enough to get all of us <laughs> to have quit the game a long time ago, I'm sure you agree. And yet yeah. here we are at this day four, night four point, and what we're seeing is we're seeing the actual like fall, literally visible fall of a heavy duty demonic force. And this is very powerful because as we come into day five, which is July 31st through August 17th, that's when the new form starts to really become visible. That's when we start to really see this new form of the angelic um, higher dimensional human. So you've identified, and I, I always enjoyed this little model without really spending any time here, that there is an elite consciousness on the planet that kind of orchestrates everything, and they control the media and the military and the politics and the business and the finances and the intelligence agencies and pretty much everything in a pyramidal scheme. Some people will call that the Illuminati, the Black Hats, whatever it is. That's not where we're focusing here. But, but that group is, as I watch that group, it, it, you know, we talk about conspiracies, as if there's something hidden. There, there are no conspiracies hidden. All of it is out on the table. But it's as if you're watching the snake eat its tail. And right now in this period of time, and this is a Rupert Murdoch piece, you're, you're watching the demise of that control-dominated level of consciousness beginning to fall out of its own sheer weight. And as people simply no longer buy into the fear that's generated from that, which is in the process of what is happening, you're going to see how little and insignificant these people actually are as they kind of crawl back into wherever they go. But, but this is what's so exciting about this period of time. And the focus is either on, oh, my God, it's all coming to an end, or, oh, my God, it's really expanding into the beginning. And 
that's the two sets of people that are on the planet right now and two sets of mind thought as, as I'm kind of watching it unfold. Mm-hmm. And so let's break that down a little bit more. Yeah. And the Pleiadians, of course, call this group, they call the global elite the world management team, which I think is a great terminology for it, but we all know what it is. And the reason that this particular twist in the road is so fascinating is because if you get deep into the elite control structures of of the world, especially since the planetary underworld, which started in 1755. Um, 1755 is the development of industry. And I also like to call that period the development of comfort, because one of the things that happened for everybody on the planet, or a lot of people on the planet, is as a result of the industrial development, for the first time, a lot of people had time to, to think and to contemplate, and that's one of the reasons that we're in a position to transform at, at this moment in time. But if you get into the inner circles of the global elite, and you think of a, a movie like Eyes Wide Shut by Stanley Kubrick, or yes. if you think of some of the uh, magical circles in the 18th and 19th centuries, and if you think of the inner circles of the Catholic Church, if you get into the really deep inner levels of how those organizations function, what you will always find at the core of them is sexual abuse. And the reason for this, the reason for this is that when we awaken and when we open nine dimensions of consciousness, what we're really doing is allowing the kundalini energy in our physical bodies to rise throughout our chakras and to elevate us at a, a cellular and soul level. And so one of the ways, in fact, practically the only way that you can divert people's awakening, I mean, let's just... Let's just suggest that at this point, the planet's awakening. And therefore, all of the beings living on it are responding to that awakening. We see every sign that the elite, the world management team, wants to make sure that nobody wakes up. Because if people wake up, you can't control them anymore. It's just a real simple, simple axiom. Exactly. But the point would be, the only way that you can divert people from awakening at this level is to divert them sexually. And so one of the things that we have seen is just an unbelievable um, level of sexual abuse and murder and mayhem and all that. War also is used as a device to divert people. And so when we see something like Rupert Murdoch collapsing on this level, it's it's just an incredible signal to us that, that this way of running reality is is falling apart 